can get through those wobbly early stages that they offer. First half, you're already seeing the Lamai coming along, for example. You've got Castle on side. That, you know, before, yeah. they, they don't even know that that didn't used to exist. They're probably like, what's not new about it? It's always been there. Um, yeah. We've got a nice little angle from Wizard there, actually, just into Barback storage. He's just going to dip away at the wrong time. Might have actually been able to catch somebody had he stayed watching. But um, for the time being, he's trying to prevent oh. the push coming down. Shepard does manage to pick up one. Psycho's there for Dan, though. Four versus two. Psycho's just trying to move his way around. Beautiful onto Shepard. Easy as that. And it all comes down to always. Always, always. Just unfortunately, no time left to make anything happen here. With four players to go through and a plan to get down. This round is cooked. Nothing to come off the back. That 2v2, the flashbang is going to catch him the second time around, but Muzi steps out of freezer, finds Pasha, and puts him down. Two versus one now. It's always once again having to get this done. 30 seconds. He's got plenty of time. I think he knows roughly where the players are, um, but also the information is going to be fed in as he destroys that bulletproof camera. Shot. What a beautiful shot through onto Muzi. One versus one, though. And cons, he can play a, a cute little cautious game. He for the last 10 seconds. Just sit Haran Lumber very happily. I think he has the idea. Five Always seconds. knows as well. It's got for the NIP maybe just showing uh, exactly why that is. Virtus Pro starting off a little bit cold to begin with. Um, certainly not up to speed in terms of flashing themselves. I love how he just stands uh, there and just takes just, it. Like, I know, yeah, I'm not cold. even going to try and run away from this one. I'm just going to let the time run down. Here we go. No, must know there's one towards his right hand side pretty close. Got the Grim coming in as well, and then B's doing some work. I think Cons is tucked into exactly the same space that he was last time. That's it was Pino this time round. Gets his man for free. Shepard, unfortunately, going to be a little bit out of luck in this round. I think it's another very dominant show from NIP. Four players left standing. Again, BP, I think, need that time out here because what they've done so far, although they said I wanted to see the book get in there, I wanted to see vertical angles. He's already found a kill onto Wizard and he's looking for more. He just keeps opening up more and more angles and you can see exactly the effect that it's having. NIP just cannot possibly play inside of sight now. They know that there is no safe space. Cons has had to dip his way out to the bottom of White Stairs. Pasha's in, Pasha's planting. That's going to get held moving. Got Somehow he's looking to retake the vertical, but he's still got always to deal with. It's a lot of pressure coming in from above as well. So I was going to say the right plan would be to rotate away or drop down, but he's rotated away into storage and taken that gunfight cons with it. Um, so Virtus Pro just coming across a real stumbling block there. It's now on to plan B. They've got to walk in and try and make this one work. Wizard's already dug in deep for one, tries to go for the second. It's Dan to get that trade back on the other way, but still NIP absolutely marching forward in these entry battles. Dan charges on Ford Shaw, Pasha hits the deck. However, has been saved by Dan in this position. That's going to make it a three versus four once Pasha is back on his feet 15 with 15 seconds, seconds to, to play. I'll be panicking, Tim. There's an echo and a clash on side. Yeah, it's a big gamble taking yeah, that time to go. pick Pasha up. I don't think, you know, it's necessarily a bad idea, but with out. 10 seconds, it now leaves you with seven cons. Yeah, he no just way. keeps fighting, drops the diffuser as well. One second left to go. There's no way Virtus Pro do this. He's going to be closed out. Yes. In that same position again, so we'll see if he has the same success. Now we see why they bring in so many claymores. Yeah. They're them up on <laughs> Up, mate. That's it. I mean, Grim is going to see everything here as well. And sure enough, Shepard's suspicions were correct. And Psycho is too easy. Up and taken always for free. That's the kind of thing, really, that should be getting caught by a drone. However, they're down to just four drones, Tim. Two of those in back pockets. Yeah, it's never going to make it easy um, on a map like Cafe. Dan manages to take down Psycho inside of Freezer. And Virtus Pro have got top floor control by the looks of things. Joystick's going to take a lot of damage there. Joystick is going to be down. We're going to have a oh, uh, Claymore kill as well. But oh, dear. Apino really showing us some of his best today. We know how lethal uh, he can be when he gets running eight and four at the minute and leading the way in terms of solo kills in this game. But at the minute for NIP, it might just not be enough, particularly inside of this round. 40 seconds left to go. Three versus four. And NIP don't really have any map control. They're in a very similar position to what we saw out of Virtus Pro on the attack, really. They haven't been able um, to get in and put themselves in a position where they can start thinking about winning the round. Dan takes down Muzi, and it's all starting to fall apart. But it's that man again, Pino. He's going to have to find an ace if he went towards that That's attack, because right. I just don't see how they're going to deal with it. But for the time being, they're still working on the vertical. Oh. Pino does his work, manages to find Pasha with a great opener. Um, Pino just picking up where he left off 10 and 5 now absolutely flying for NIP here really uh, pushing them forward on the attack and that leaves them with at least an advantage for the time being the dropping yep. freezer comes Dan right. can't really do too much about this now uh, it might have just worked to, to sort of bypass him a little bit let's just use that entirely as like a shepherd to get himself inside a sight here cons 
Really got to see the other side react now, though. Try and make something happen. Always has got the right idea. Challenge onto the vertical. Muzi finds Dan, though, and this is the kind of control that NIP needed, Tim. They're into a five versus two, and really, Virtus Pro could get caught out um, as they try to push through into the sort of double door area. But Pino, for the time being, going to continue. He's got the super short hit there. Not again. The triple. <laughs> and who did the sure save on for? It will catch somebody who's trying to find a vertical angle, and that's why they run into Freezer because they want to open a vertical and then look back on themselves towards this side of the map. And why did we say the three? Because in case a gridlock runs over, and that's exactly what has happened, looking for those vertical nades to toss downwards. So really, Virtus Pro haven't had to get involved in many firefights in this round. It's been about the C4s, it's been about the vertical denial, it's been about the cap can traps, wonderful stuff. Moves just looking for the long range throw with the Selma charge there to again make it difficult for that player to stay inside of washroom cons just battling and um, that long range angle onto cocktail as well but NIP just stalling out a little bit that's an important kill though Muzi takes down Pasha on the vertical takes away the threat of that nitro if it hadn't been detonated at that point but also just opens them up to really start pushing through piano cons he finds Dan it's five versus three it's five versus two joystick manages to get one by it's almost certainly over for Virtus Pro here. Joystick has got an ace to find if he wants to close this.